The World Bank is a major producer of development data. Um, and this is hugely influential work. This, this data is used and cited by people all over the world. It talks about all kinds of development issues, what's going on in the world, in, also in poor countries that others don't really cover. We studied data for development at the bank. And why data is important is not just for us evaluators, because it helps us do our job well. Um, it matters because it's really important for policy making. Ultimately, data is about the life of people. And if we know more about the life of people, we can find better solutions. We focused particularly on assessing the effectiveness of the World Bank on statistical capacity building. Because producing data is not as simple as we might think. Uh, it's not just getting behind a computer and generating spreadsheets. In fact, behind data production, there are lots of institutional issues, skills challenges, and sometimes legal reforms that are needed. And the World Bank has been engaged in uh, fostering these reforms and helping countries produce data. So we wanted to know how well they did. We find that the World Bank has been successful at helping countries produce better data, and that data availability has gone up really quite a lot over the last 10-15 years and that many developing countries their statistical capacity is higher than it used to be because of World Bank support. We found that the bank was pretty much everywhere. Um, with small grants or with some lending it provided support to almost all countries in statistical capacity building. But really where it made a difference is in countries where it engaged in depth where it paired reforms of uh, the legal system with helping staff with their capacity, sometimes also investing in building and um, in IT systems. It's really when the whole package was there that we could find uh, improvement in data availability and data quality. But we also find that there are problems. Some of this data is undershared underused, and data is often underfinanced. What do we mean by that? Not all countries share data that they collect, not with the World Bank and not with their public. Second, we find that data is often underused. So there's been so much focus on producing data, but what we really care about is that data gets used for better policies, for better targeting, for program monitoring, uh, for for citizens to know what's going on in their countries and hold elected leaders to account. Third, we find that there's a chronic problem that data is underfinanced. Therefore, we find that the World Bank should help work with other partners to convene a global financing mechanism for data that would pull in financing from developing countries and developed country donors around a common platform for financing data over the medium and long term. One of the conclusions that we reached, which is a little different from other evaluations where we always you know, um, recommend to change something. Here, we really think that the bank has a role in continuing uh, the effort that it has uh, started over the past 10 years in supporting data capacity and expanding it below the national level to local statistical offices so that ultimately data gaps can be bridged also uh, at the regional level. You know, we have this vision of, a, of something that doesn't exist yet a vision of a global financing mechanism for data. Something where donors pool their funding instead of financing ad hoc surveys here and there for their own purposes, but pool funding behind agreed more strategic objectives. And where countries also contribute their part of financing. Now, this doesn't exist. Can it be created? Well, why not? Data is important enough.